Hello folks, it's Nana Jail 54 Janet. Hello. Um I have a kit um today it's a vintage it's doilies and lace and pretty napkins and um just like a vintage lot of things that I want to sell and offer you ladies. So uh let me show you what I have. Okay. So I think I'll show you first these little bits and bobs. Okay. Two of my little altar butterflies that I did, that I threw in there. So I'll put those right there. And then um, some corks. Uh, there are five corks here and they're all different. They're very pretty. And this one is very plain and this one, and then one of these, I think this is like a champagne cork. So I've got those. And then, um, I'll put this over here with this, because, okay. Now, these are, uh, there's two of these um, doilies, and they're a little bit, uh, the age stain, I did wash them. So these, uh, I was going to um, avocado dye these, but I said, you know what, let me throw some into this kit. So um, these doilies, okay. Now this is a section of a tablecloth that, um, that I cut up because I love this. Let me put it on here and see if you could see. Um, for a lace book or something, and there's two of them. So I love those, so I put that in the kit. That would be really pretty um, for texture or whatever. Um, this doily here is very nice. You can cut that into sections or use that as a base on a project. And that does not have any stains or holes in it. That's very pretty. Um, this is uh, doily here. I don't believe this has any stains in it. I believe it's perfect. And these are great because you can stamp uh, or put your image, your image of your vintage lady or whatever. Or you could even do the ribbon embroidery on this. Here's another little doily. Eyelet. That one does not have any stains on it either. There's this cut work one. Very pretty. Here's my hand and that's the size of it. Okay. This one, I'm sorry, this one has one little tiny dot right there. Uh, this one here. Now this has some yellowing on it right here and I did wash it. Um, but the yellowing won't come out. So this might be pretty tea dyed. And all of these have been washed and ironed. Um, okay, so we'll put the doilies over here like this. All right, and then um, let's go ahead and I will show you. This is vintage Rick Wrap. It's not big and it's not small. It's kind of a medium size Rick Wrap. And there's... Um, there's over three yards of, a little over three yards of uh, all of this. Some, uh, there's one I think that has like four yards plus. Believe, believe, don't know which one it is. Oh, I believe it's this one. This one has four yards plus. And that's this one. So that one, and then this one. There's at least three yards of this one. You've got, um, this is a grow grain ribbon in like a, um, a rose tone. There's three yards of this, this, and it's vintage. And this is a vintage um, satin, or silk, I don't know, satin, satin ribbon. And um, it's like not stark white, it's kind of a creamy white. And um, there's three yards of that at least. And there's an old um, clip, what do you call it, clothespin. Okay, then we come to the napkins. These napkins have little embroidery on them. This one has a little bit of a yellow spot. But pre for pretty much, for being um, old, they, they're not too, there's one spot there and one spot there, but they're not, they're not in bad shape. And these, I like to use these kind of things because I feel bad when I use something that's perfect um, on a project unless the whole thing is going to show in the project. So there's one of those and there's two of those. So there are two of these, and there's a little spot right there. 
which shows up more in the camera than it really does in real life. So there's two of those. I love that little, that, those little flowers there. Okay, there's two of those, and those make great little bags. You can make little drawstring bags and then embellish and put your laces that dangle on the bottom. Okay, so then there's this little napkin, and it has this little, I don't know, it reminds me of um, uh, Olga um, Art Mingle. This is, um, she draws a little flower like this on all of her projects. So that's that, that's a cute little napkin. And then there are these, and this is kind of a lavender gray. It's very pretty. I like to use these to make um, bags, gift bags, and things like that. Here's one that is, it's a white, but, and this one is stained. Now this one is definitely, you cut this up. Um, and you can make little pouches out of them. You know what, I'm gonna take this one off and I will find one that does not have the stains and I'll put it in. This one is uh, linen. This is linen and these are, the linen is fun to work with. It takes uh, color well. You can spray it with your sprays or you can, um, you can um, dye it with avocado or tea or coffee or whatever. And these make really cute items. Okay, one more a little linen. And this is like one of those little cozies, I think, that you put over your biscuits or whatever. But I love the, the work on this, the embroidery work on this. So, that. That one there. And it's long. It's I have it folded over. It's... It's long, so you can make a, you know, you can use it for a page in your lace book. Okay, so that, all of those, and then um, this is from, uh, this is heavily beaded. Um, and it's on this kind of a crepey material. And it's beaded oh so pretty. That will be in there, and it's a, it's a big piece. It's a it's a fairly large piece. Okay, and this is the pink fabric backing that was with it, and this will make really pretty flowers. So that, and it's the same size as the purple. You're going to get. A pair of these vintage leather gloves um, now they're very discolored they're very very old and very discolored but these are the kind of things I like to paint on uh, you can go to town on this um, you can paint and just just go nuts with this and you can put texture on these and um, they're just fun to work on so a pair of those and then you're going to get some vintage jewelry, which these are old beads, and there's a strand. The strand is not missing, it's just detached. Let me show it to you. Okay, you can use these any way you want. This is the strand that's detached right there. So you've got that, right? That's got cool beads. Let me close up and show you. And then this is a vintage, uh, when I remember when I bought this, I asked the lady, I said, oh, can I see that necklace? She goes, it's a belt. I was like, well, for me, it doesn't look like a belt. My waist is not that small. <laughs> but anyway, it's, um, it's, it's very, very pretty. And um, I've got so much stuff that I figured I better sell some of this stuff because I'm going to have to pack it up and move it. We're going to be moving. So, um and then let's see let's do the vintage buttons these buttons are not these are on the card they were 88 cents at walmart at one time i don't think buttons are 88 cents anymore um then there these are really really old um some of these i think are bakelite 
So these are really old buttons. This is like a rose. And then all of these are just shared a bunch of vintage buttons. And some of these have the original thread on them. Because they used to take them, they used to, when they something would be damaged so much that they couldn't wear it, they would take the buttons off. And this is really cool. I'm sorry if this is not focusing really well, but this is what I have to work with. Okay, so that's the buttons. And then this little cherub piece. This is one of my thrifting finds, I believe. And this is a thrifting find. The last time I went to Webster, I bought some of these. And they've got the pretty uh, gold, um, it's not going to focus, but the connectors on them are not just rings, they're pretty. And it's a string of it. So that came off of somebody's chandelier. Then this is real, um, real, real. <laughs> this is um, vintage, real, um, film strip and I don't know there's about maybe two yards in here or a yard and a half something don't hold me to it but there's plenty for you to play with there are some of my birdies from the warehouse some little white birdies and there's a red birdie okay birdies then there's these two pieces of ceramic tile very pretty in spring colors I'll put them here and then you're going to get three sheets of hymnal paper. These are songs. This is a song book, not a hymnal, but a, a song book, um, Christian songs. And so, and they're very, very old. So you'll get three of those. They're front and back. And you'll get two of these uh, music note napkins. Two of these. And you'll get two of these playing cards and you'll get two of these two of these these are vintage too i believe that's renoir okay and then you'll get two of these vintage magazine uh, pages and um with a little bit of graphics on there but these are cool to have in backgrounds. So there's two of those, and they're very old. And then these are fun. These are two um, design. Um, these are from a design, a home decor design book from the early 50s. And I just thought those were so cool. And, um, you know, fun for, for when you do, you know, your, um, the, you know, the, um, when my brain won't think, but I have it in my head. Um, when you do the vintage sewing, um, you know, the ladies with their dress forms and all of that kind of stuff, these are really cool, these pictures for that. So, okay, so that's the kit. That kit, that kit that is in this whole tray is um, $45 plus shipping. Uh, shipping will be um, in a medium uh, flat rate box. Uh, U.S. only, uh, PM me if you're interested, and um, uh, yeah, and if um, I find some more, I've been like going through my stuff because I've pa I'm trying to pack, so if I find some more um, stuff, uh, uh, there will be a few more things that I will toss in, so um, let me know if you're interested, um, we'll uh, talk to you later, bye.